Hello and welcome, my name is Perky and today we're playing some more Castle Story. Meet me back where today we're going to be starting a brand new survival game. So what we're going to do is, this is going to be like a proper try hard series. I'm going to like try as hard as I can to win this and get as far as we can in it. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to play on Plateau Mont Royal this time, which used to be known as Fatty Island. We're going to play in the Troubled Heaps. Now this is the default original map, where you have a central defensive crystal bit with three possible routes that the Corruptrons can attack you from. But this time we're going to try and make it even more epic. We're going to make a proper castle and everything else. Well, I say that, I hope we can make a proper castle. <laughs> I don't like give myself too many promises early on because I'm terrible. Okay, well, let's get straight into this. How are you folks? This is survival mode. Your goal is to build a castle around your crystal and defend it against waves of Corruptrons. Each wave will be increasingly hard to defend against. Digging in the ground has been disabled, which is something that I didn't read last time, so thank you very much for putting that in the game. You can create new Brickdons in your home crystal by gathering blue crystal from the mine. Orange crystal, also found in the mines, is used to create torches to see at night as well as explosive barrels. Watch the timer on the top left of the screen. It indicates when the next wave of Corruptrons will arrive. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Okay, so this time we didn't really have much choice in terms of how much time we were given in between waves. I think maybe that's a modifier that changes based on... Oh, shit! Did I just start a wave by pressing that? Okay, I was, I was looking at that button, I was like, hmm, I wonder what that does. But I think it means that basically the wave starts instantly, so great, I'm really pleased I pressed that knot. Well, that makes things instantly a bit harder for us, but we've got a few things here that we can do. Now, there is a mine over here which we can start defending against, so I think what we're going to need to do instantly is decide which mine we're going to go for. There's a couple of Corruptrons coming, but I don't think we need to worry too much at this point in time. If we get maybe another Archer out, because these Archers are going to save my back. Oh my god, they're so good. So, Falcor! And maybe we should get this guy out of the way, because they're probably going to shoot at our own people if we're not careful. There we go. Okay, it'd be nice if you could actually hit or something. Perfect! So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to get a couple of these guys to go over to the mine over this way. Now, as you can see, the UI has changed very slightly. Not, not notably. You can now see who's assigned to each task, which is nice. And you can also see what the names are, which is also very nice. So there we go, perfect. So what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to get Butch over here to chop down this tree. Because we need a bit of wood to start creating our stockpiles. Now, there's three obvious ways that we can defend against. There's this way here, which I think I'm going to use like a nice V shape to defend, because that always seems to be the best way of doing this sort of thing. And also this here, which is just a basic straight wall, I think. And also this way, which, considering we have to defend this mine as well, it'd probably be a good idea to put another sort of V shape here, if we can. And I don't think there's any other ways the Corruptrons can come from. So what we're going to do is, instead of talking forever... Oh, look, there's a repair thing. I don't even know what that does yet. Well, we're going to go for construction first of all. As, as you can see, everything's changed slightly. And there are a few new blocks in here, which is fantastic. It actually means that we can use some of these new things. So first of all, let's get our stockpile going. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put our stockpile over here. We're going to put a few of these down, just because we're going to need them, and we're going to put it sort of midway between the mine and the crystal, because that seems good. We want to leave enough space around the crystal to actually build the walls up, which would be nice as well. So let's get him on the construction. Looking for path to blueprints. Well, you should have a path, and you should also have enough materials over here. So there we go. Perfect. Right. So the next thing we want to do is, we want to probably... In fact, what does this repair thing do? Oh, I think it just repairs everything. As long as it's not fully broken, I would assume. Okay, so now that we've got stockpiled down, these guys at the mine can start placing down all the rock and whatever other goodies they've found in this place. Which is good, because it means that we can start building up our walls. So now that we've done that, let's get one of these guys onto a permanent wood chopping task. So let's get lumbering going on. We're going to put this down over here like that. So here we go, right. That seems good to me. Can we make this bigger, the lumber task? We can drag it around. I'm not sure whether we can make it bigger. You know what? That seems fine. So that's that's good with me. So let's now get one of him onto the lumbering task. Blanche? Or was it? No, Blutch. Blutch? We've never heard that name before. Maybe they've added some new names in. Who knows? Okay, so now that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to get good old Grabel here to start creating a wall. Now, I think probably the easiest wall to start with would just be one that's surrounding the central crystal area. 
Now as you can see there's a lot of new blocks in here. We've got the good old bear traps back in here, we've also got all the lanterns and stuff. We've also got, if I can show you quickly, all the bricks here. We've got curved bricks, brick curved left and brick curved right and all of this stuff, nice stone pillars. And we've also got half bricks, normal bricks and all the wood stuff including a brace, a beam, planks and logs and also all the stuff here in the structure hub including doors and catapults which we kind of failed at using last time. But you know, don't worry about it. It's fine, we don't need to worry at all. So I'm hoping now it's actually a possibility that we can start creating some form of maybe like towers using curved bricks. That'd be really cool. Like turrets of a castle. After all, this is called Castle Story. You should be allowed, you should be able to make some form of turrets, right? Makes perfect sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to start constructing our central wall around the crystal. Now, this could just be a temporary measure. In the future, I'd like the idea of maybe making this a bit more impressive. But for the early game, I think it's more important to go for purely structural rather than anything else. So let's grab all this up, get rid of that block, put a single block on either side there with a door in between. We're going to, learning from previous mistakes, we're going to put down our cross-hatched bricks this time to increase the structural rigidity of this wall. Look at me, I almost know as if I'm, I know what I'm talking about. Watch is this, Parky is not stupid. I, I highly disagree with that statement. Okay, so let's get this perfect. And then after that we can put down the door, but we're going to be attacked now by some horrible beasts. So we're going to put Barish over here, or ba Bashire, I don't even know what his name is. Okay, let's recall all workers as a central pillar, they're probably not going to be able to do that much, but if we can save them from being beaten up, that would be good. Okay, so Peter, Peter and Bank, come over here. These are definitely new names I've not seen before. Kind of a mistake, pressing that button. Kind of wish that I hadn't done that but there's not much I can do about it now. And also the waves seem to be fairly close together. I noticed that the first wave was only going to come in after eight minutes. Oh, holy shit, there's a lot of them. Okay, so we're going to bring this guy over here, this guy here. We're going to bring Bank over here and also Peter over in this direction. It looks like all of the Corruptrons are attacking from one direction, so if we get a nice defensive line going like this, the archers can mop them up if they're not completely useless. And then the... Oh god. And then the knights can go in for the attack. The full frontal attack! Look at this! A couple of hits from them and they should be dead. Hopefully there's no friendly fire going on. Right, okay, so let's get these guys back onto their mining task. In fact, these guys never came off of the mining task. How useless of them. So what we're going to do then is we're going to get these guys back onto the construction task, which I believe... Is there no one on this? We can assign them like that now, which is quite nice. Did that destroy the construction task? Oh no, it's still here. Okay, that's fine then. So what we're going to do is we're going to... We've only got three minutes until the next wave. Why are they so short? Is this because I pressed this button? What does this even do? Okay, well the waves are coming in pretty damn quickly. Now apparently, according to you guys, I can clear up all the rocks on the ground by pressing delete, which, my god, I wish I'd read earlier in the last series. But now that I know that, it means that there's less fodder for those corruptions to throw at us, which is obviously going to make a huge difference to us. Now Floridian, or F Florian, <laughs> Floridian, that's not even a name. Well done, Parky. What we're going to do is we're going to get him onto a construction task to put down a nice old door here, because there's no point having these walls if you can't even put down a door. What is even the point? Okay, so here we go. I think I selected it correctly. Well, either way, we'll soon find out. We're going to put this down here like that. And then after this, we need to put down a few staircase bricks inside of the tower. Because eventually, this is going to basically give us access to the uh, upper ramparts. Where we can put down all of our archers. In the classic parky style, we're going to put archers everywhere. And hopefully they don't get hit and die instantly. Which is probably quite likely, considering my track record. But don't worry about it. I'm still going to claim that I know vaguely what's going on. Right, so there we go. We've got all these people working on this. It looks like the door has now been constructed. Is he doing anything? Florian, you need resources. Bulch, he's on here as well. So we've got all three on the construction task. The door is now down. One good thing that we could do is actually start considering creating... Maybe we should get another archer. Should we get another archer or should we get another worker? I think we need that defence. Look how quickly the next wave's coming in. They seem to be throwing quite a lot of enemies at us as well, which is kind of unhelpful early on in the game. This is supposedly the easier map to play on as well, which I find fairly difficult to believe, but you know what, don't worry about it. We're going to be fine. All these guys look perfectly calm, don't they? No matching resources. Maybe we should get another one of these guys on the mining task, although have they actually got any space to put down their rocks? 
doesn't look like it. We'll get another go on the mine, just in the meantime, because there's no point having three of them standing still if they've got nothing to build with. What's the point of that, you ask? Well, there isn't any. So let's now get another archer, because I feel as though defense is going to be more useful at this point in time anyway. So we're going to get Peter over here, just get them out of the range of the archers. I don't know which direction the corruptions are going to come from this wave, but as soon as I find out, I'm going to... I should maybe build a wall over here, shouldn't I, just to slow them down. Even if I just make it one high, because then they have to climb over it, which would, again, be a good delay mechanism. I, I said that last time, but I never actually managed to do that, so maybe we should actually make the effort to do that sort of thing now. Okay, so as soon as we've got this central defence tower up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building some defensive walls on the outside. I think initially I'm just going to go for this one because it's going to be the easiest to defend. We're going to put a single archer up here. Unfortunately, with the new mechanic of the corruptions able to use uh, ranged weapons, it's going to make things a bit difficult in general using walls because they can just knock us off, which now means that if I build a wall, I have to put a little back to it. So if an archer is hit, they won't fall off which is a bit of a pain, or make it thick enough that if they do get hit, they don't fall off of the back of it. Starts getting a bit complicated, but whatever, we're just going to go for it. And you know, if I fail at this series, I'm, I'm going to be sad. My try-hard goal is going to be not fulfilled, which makes me very sad. But you know what, it's okay. We've got five minutes in between each wave. I can't really zoom out any more than this, so I haven't got really a good bird's eye perspective of what's going on here. It looks like there's a few coming... Wow, okay, there's a lot coming from down here. Are they all just coming from this direction? It looks like it. So let's get our archers over here. We're going to put an archer there. We're also going to put an archer here. An archer in the back here. And also another one like this. And then Bank is going to come here. And the other guy is going to come over this side, Peter. Hopefully this is going to be enough to snipe them off from a distance. I'm hoping Peter is just going to stand completely still. Else there's a chance that we're going to snipe our own guys. Which is... Not really preferable, if I'm perfectly honest, but there's not much we can do about it. Look at this, mopping up. Easy peasy. Right, so let's now get our people back onto the uh, mining task and everything else. And once we've done that, we should have a good chance, maybe, of doing well in this. It's going well so far. I don't want to, like, I don't want to tempt fate at all, but it does seem to be going okay. <laughs> so it actually killed 12 Corruptrons so far. There's none alive. This is a nice little thing that we need to keep an eye on, because as soon as we have enough soul points ready, I don't know what the official name for this is, I'm just going to call them soul points, because that's kind of what they look like, then we need to keep an eye on this number here, because as soon as it goes to one, then it means that we can spawn a new guy in, which is obviously going to be a good thing. Right, okay, so in terms of everything else, we could start putting down some more things like bear traps. Bear traps don't actually kill enemies. What they do is they ensnare them for a short period of time so that you can then eat, kill them from a distance easily, using an archer or whatever. So they've got limited use. I think, considering also the fact that they don't work on the big corruptrons, it's going to make things a bit difficult. So as these guys collect all their stone up, these other two builders here, Florian and Gabriel, or Graubel, they've got such weird names. I think, are these names taken from all the backers on Kickstarter? In which case, where's my name? Because I bloody backed you on Kickstarter. <laughs> I think that should be a parky uh, name one. I'd, I'd love that, to have my name in the game. Anyway, what am I talking about? Seems good so far, no bugs experienced. Probably could do with a few more of these stockpiles put down, because it means that we can then have a bit more space to put down all these rocks that we're collecting. Currently with three people on the mine, it's not going to take us too long to get the resources we need to get some more of these uh, bricks going on. Oh wow, has they changed how the wood stacks? Yeah look, the wood now looks like this in the stockpile. It used to just be logs, didn't it? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. We could, of course, make some wooden walls. I'm not sure how well they'd fare, to be honest. Probably not very. <laughs> but what we can do, actually, is maybe get one of these guys, as there's not really much going on, onto building a couple of lights. Because lights will mean that we can actually see what the hell is going on, which is obviously a good thing. And we're going to put these on either side of the door. Currently, there's only enough space for one of them, because the other wall hasn't been created yet, which is a bit of a problem. But don't worry about it. We're now going to deselect this and put this guy on the construction task, which I think... Is it just on here? I think it is just on here, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. Does it all fall under construction? That's changed, doesn't it? Because it used to be under, like, structural and then construction or something like that. They're two separate things if you wanted to make something out of wood. I'm probably speaking out of my arse. Most likely. So the next wave is just under one and a half minutes away, which is pretty terrifying, to, be the, to say the least. 
But you know, it's fine. It seems like all of the corruptions are coming from one direction each time, which makes it a bit easier to deal with. Unfortunately, it does mean that if we pump all of our resources into building a single wall over here, or over here, or over here, if the corruptions for that wave don't come from that direction where the wall is, then there's almost no point in having the wall. Which is why I suppose maybe we should focus on defending the central area first. So we're going to make this probably about three fi thick. Three thick? God. I know how to speak English. But we're going to make this about three thick, and then put a back on the uh, back of the wall. Because then it will mean that hopefully we can start putting some arches up there without the risk of them falling off. Which sounds fantastic to me. Okay, so just over 30 seconds, I'm going to keep an eye out for where these corruptions are coming from. Hopefully, they're going to come from down this way, because it means that I don't have to reposition all these guys. I think I'm doing fairly well, though, in terms of defending. I think we're doing alright. How far are we to the next uh, creation of something? Doesn't give you a percentage anymore. Not sure if that's somewhere else that we can see. Doesn't really look like it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to recall all of our workers, because we don't want them to get killed. I've noticed that actually, for some reason, these guys here don't seem to want to return home, if we recall them. Seems like they still carry on working, which is a bit weird. Have we got any blue dust, actually? It looks like this guy's got some blue dust. Blutch. All right, where are they coming from? Stop getting distracted, Parky. We need to keep an eye out for these guys. Okay, it looks like they might be coming from down here again. Oh, yep, look, there we go. There's a big guy down here as well. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to bring these guys back a little bit so they don't get so tempted into attacking the enemy. I'm also going to get another archer, because we can. Oh my god, archer, where are you? Archer, come over here, bulg, or whatever your name is. Bank, fine. Have we got the big guy yet? It doesn't really look like it. We are being attacked, though, which is not very helpful. If we clear up these rocks, right. Now everyone else, archers, attack the big one. For God's sake. Oh god, no, Peter. Don't don't go over here, bank. These, you know, these knights, they cannot be trusted at all. Right, this seems okay, though. Why is this guy still in the mine? Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Oh, well, thankfully, we killed him. So that's another big one down. Of course, every enemy that we slay gives us more souls, which means that we can afford more characters, which is obviously a good thing for us. Okay, so, now that we've done that, we can put these guys back on the construction task. We're also going to get this guy back onto the uh, mining task, and after that... Everything's fine and dandy. Okay, well this seems like a good place to end the first episode. If you enjoyed it and love my try-harding experience, then please feel free to leave your support in the comment section below. Also, tell your friends. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward.